Chapter 4, Differentiation, Part 4. In this video, I would like to introduce how to find the derivative of an implicit function. We met before we recall that this explicit function, that means uh, if y is a subject, so y is equal to 3x squared plus 4. This kind of function we will call explicit functions. How about implicit function? That means y is not the subject. Uh, the formula like this. How do you find dy over dx if I give you the function like this? Uh, maybe one of the methods is that, okay, you can make y to be the subject and then find the derivative. Or we can use the previous uh, theorem in order to find the derivative of the functions. I want to use the following example to illustrate. Example 4.18. Uh, the function like this, 2x to the power 3 plus y to the power 3 minus 3x squared y is equal to 8. Then we can by differentiations both sides with respect to x. With respect to x, that means the denominator is dx. Then, uh, I want to do the, this question step by step. Maybe next time you can uh, skip some of the step, but I want to uh, illustrate uh, more clearly. So, if this is 2x to the power 3 plus y to the power 3 minus 3x squared y is equal to d over dx and the left hand side is 8. Uh, how come from this step we can change to this one? We take dy over dx on both sides. So I add bracket here and add bracket here. On the right hand side, not very difficult to find the derivative because d over dx if this is the function is a constant, this is a constant, can you see this is 8? So this is 0 to 0. How about left hand side? First, I find this is related to the sum of a polynomial. So I can use the additional theorem in order to separate them. This is constant, so I can take it out. So for the first term, I know how to find the derivative because this is 2, I can take it out, ignore it, and then dx to the power 3 is equal to 3x squared. How about second term? First of all, I cannot use power rule because the base are not, okay, it's not equal, this is x and this is y. So, what can I do? I can use train rule minus 3 and then I want to uh, keep this one first I want to elaborate later so I want to handle for the first time now for this term I can use power rule because this is y and this is y. y to the power 3. So this is 2, 3x squared plus this part is equal to 3y squared. How about second part? What can we do? You do not need to simplify it because you want to find dy over dx. This is what you want. So keep it. Time dy over dx okay and minus 3 how about this term can you see this function is the product of two functions so I can use product rule x square dy over dx plus y d x square over dx We can write down the first term and find the derivative of the second term, plus write down the second term and find the derivative of the first term. 
So the simplification like this. Then x squared. We do not need to do anything. How about this one? Same. Can you see this is what you want? So keep it. And then plus y. y time. This time I know what is the derivative of this term. This is 2x. So we can simplify this function like this. Plus 3y squared and then dy over dx minus minus 3 times x squared dy over dx this is what you want this is dy over dx and then minus 3y times 2x is equal to 0 this two term include consists dy over dx so keep it on your right hand side and uh, left hand side and move all the term to the left hand side so this this term is equal to 6xy so plus 6xy on both sides and minus 6x squared how about left hand side it's 3y squared dy over dx minus minus 3x squared dy over dx I want to find dy over dx so I take out dy over dx we make 3y squared minus 3x squared so last step divide it because I want to keep dy over dx on the left hand side so xy minus 6x squared over 3y squared minus 3x squared uh, sometime I will I will simplify the left hand side take out 6x this is one of the common factor remain y minus x how about the, the, the denominator? Take out 3, and this is y minus x times y plus x. So I can cross it out. And then do the simplification, 2x over y plus x. This is the final answer of the derivative. Maybe you can, uh, you will see, okay, this question is a little bit long, but uh, if you do it, uh, maybe some step you can skip it, because I want to do it step by step. Uh, if you cannot follow, do it again and do it again. Uh, try to make good use of the addition or uh, product rule to simplify the left hand side and then according to the train rule you can find dy over dx and this is your final answer let's see one more example for example 17 do one more example left hand side is x squared plus y squared minus x y is equal to 10. So by differentiations both sides with respect to x. Left hand side, simple, zero. The first term, uh, use the addition uh, theorem and then you can simplify it. The first one is 2x plus dy squared over dx. Remember, you cannot use the train, uh, power rule directly. So, you can change to, to dy squared over dy times dy over dx and then minus remember the train rule uh, the product rule so yes write down the first term find the derivative of the second term and then pass write down the second term find the derivative of the first term so 2x plus 
2y, I can use power rule for remain dy over dx, minus x times, okay, this is what we want, keep it. And then remember this negative sign, you need to distribute it, so minus y, and dx over dx is equal to 1. So it's equal to 0. And then, left hand side, take out dy over dx, keep 2y minus x, and plus y on both sides, minus 2x. So, last one, dy over dx is equal to y minus 2x over 2y minus x. Okay, any questions so far? And if you cannot follow, maybe we can discuss more during our lesson.